There's probably some dodge timing in this game. You can uh, pretty much avoid getting grabbed by everything, I guess. Uh, oh, that's not a pouch. Jump button, you know, real people can jump, but not in Resident Evil. I need something for this. Uh... Door won't budge. Looks like it needs a power source. I want to buy a jump function, Caloria. Do you have one for sale? That there was something in the water there, or there's a new power source for this one, too. Power source needed. This one is locked by the side. Tippy toe, tippy toe, tippy toe, tippy toe. to look and so it looks like we're gonna head for office Just waiting for something to spring out of these As I said, something will spring out of them. We got the grenade for some reason, right? I think it has something on its back that we need to... Oh. There's another 
Resensi. Ini eh, sorry. One alien was done by it. Worry. Oh no. Oh. I think you have to shoot when it opens its mouth or something. What the fuck was that? Hey, Colorin, dinner for you. Explosive B. Explosive A. A plus B makes C. Uh, so research assistance logs. March 4th. Um, gamma's release from tank for the first time. Movement sluggish. Uh, combat potential low. April 18th. Experimented with additional hormones and drugs, one adjustment bore positive results with a significant rise in combat potential. Specimen is now able to move quickly and swallow prey whole. June 30. Umbrella has officially shut down gamma research. We managed to smuggle some specimens with especially high potential from the lab before disposal. But the Logan and Carlisle is more committed than ever to perfecting the gamma line. August 14th, two weeks since relocating to the sewers. Freeze temperatures have led to a decrease in water quality, but specimens appear fine despite my concerns. Gammas quickly learned the layout of the sewers and within two days were exploring the entire underground of Raccoon City. All specimens are familiar with and friendly towards us, but have procured high power weaponry as a safeguard in the event that they become uncontrollable. September 1, we were lucky to secure this base by bribing the sewage department chief, but it's beginning to feel cramped due to the Gamma's continued growth. We should begin to consider the other possible arrangements. September 9, a water treatment worker found his way into the lab, but the Gamma's promptly eliminated him. This proves their viability for field use. I'll reach out to Umbrella's European branch tomorrow, perhaps they will see the light. Mm -hmm. Boys from Gun Shop Kendo. Thank you for purchasing the XXSX grenade launcher. He made uh, special adjustments to this piece to ensure compatibility with a variety of ammunition types. For optimal performance, be sure to choose the right ammo for the right situation. As we discussed at the time of purchase, this is a refurbished model and the chamber needs to be manually cycled between shots. It will take an extra moment, but this is reflected in the price as agreed. And written note on reverse. Uh, explosive A times two explosive rounds. Flame rounds, explosive A plus explosive B. Acid round, two Bs. Mine rounds, can't be readily crafted and worth stuck up on. Won't help if you need to keep the gummies in line. Huh. Okay. Well, that one took up a bit of space. Now comes the question, do we need it right now? Hmm. 
Okay, so the power was not here. Uh, so I guess lab is next. Space typical. Love letter. My little darlings, it's already been three months since we fled here together. I found myself thinking back to the day you hatched. The little voices made me tremble with pride. Your adorable little bodies bringing with incredible destructive power. And of course, that the voracious, insatiable appetite. You're no less than the pinnacle of the Hunter series. And yet they ordered me to destroy you. They said you were unfit for use as weapon because of a few minor vulnerabilities. So what if you are uh, susceptible to heat? So what if your delicate mandibles are exposed when you feed? Haven't they ever heard of character flaws? It is those very flaws that make you so very, very precious to me. But we show them, yet. Down here we will continue to walk this evolutionary path together. We will prove to Umbrella that you, my beloved Hunter Gammas, are truly superior. Okay, so I need to go back and... Did some stuff and then come back and get these things. And we can probably ditch the knife.
Mm, I think the shotgun should be in there. Mm. Let's see. Uh, we can store that one. We can store that one. We can store the pistol. Uh, we need four slots. That's what we have now. Then. This one I don't. Um, battery pack I don't need right now because I'm gonna go and get the stuff over there. Boom. Still the first time. Okay, let's get back with all this. I can't say shit though. Hmm, hmm, hmm.
Oh, come on! Fuck that way, damn it. What the? <clears throat> I see you too, okay? this I'm just gonna have it with us. Mm, do we need a knife with us? I think this is gonna be the last for this one, so. <clears throat> it's gonna be for this door. I don't think there is anything more for it. In case the box is a break. Hmm, do we need to bring in the meals? Hopefully not. Oops. This is 
gonna move my mouse and hit the cup. Can you hear me now? Jill. Oh, thank God. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm alive. I lost him. Great. The subway's ready to go. We'll leave as soon as you make it back. No. No. You have the hole. <clears throat> well, you don't have to look at him, you know what he's gonna do. Like, oh, let me look at him and see what he's gonna do. But in the game, she lost him more than he lost her. No. The cutscene. But I was gonna have to hold the button or something. Oh, uh, check the save point, huh? So what do we need? That's a question. Um... We have a heal. Mm, do we need grenades? Maybe some ammo though. Notice of demolition delay. Uh, we have decided to delay the Barnaby office building demolition in response to ongoing public unrest. For safety reasons, all the electrical equipment, including generators, have been moved to the roof for safekeeping. Entry to the premises is prohibited until the current unrest has subsided. All employees are to stay at home and await further instructions. Does that mean we are going to have to keep stunning him and then shoot him in the back for the flame? Uh, that's what it sounds like to me. Okay, time to die a few times. That is a boss fight. 
Boss fight, round one. Out of 100. Oh, what the? Okay. He has dodged that like a sham. <laughs> Didn't shoot you. Dude. Okay, so he needs to start. Uh... was a lot easier than I thought. Shouldn't use those. Uh... Ah! Oh, he wasn't done yet. Already yet.
Time to jump. Oh, he's gonna come jumping out. It's okay, so video games, yes, so let's go. You survive. Okay, time to move. Okay. You should be as let go, she would just survive anyway. Which one to use? Oh. Uh, I pretty much shouldn't use the uh, rockets at all. Carlos, it's Jill. Do you read me? Loud and clear. You all right? Yeah. Bastard's dead. Good. Fuck him. What were you thinking? Turning yourself into bait. You could have been killed. Don't start. I did what I had to. I know. And thanks. The subway's ready to go. Hurry back. I think I missed anything here, but I'll check. And she was on the Oh, you know he's not dead. He's just resting. He's taking a nap. something down here Stay over there, okay? I get also kinda wanna look around. weird that there isn't like a save point after the boss fight so you still have to stay alive now you know mm 
Mm, does it show items down? I thought it only showed, uh, you know, a point like there is here. I can pick that one up right now. Uh, okay, go on. Double! Shit, chill. Kendo, you're all right. Yeah, all right to stretch. Sorry, I got a little jumpy there. Didn't know quite Christ! what to expect. No shit. Look. We're using the subway to get people out of town. You win? Subway. Well, that's good thinking. When we get out, there's gonna be a lot to do. We could use a man of your skill set. What's wrong? Nothing. Just a uh, just bad timing is all. Well. Look, um, don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements, okay? You better. The best gunsmith around. Oh no. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid. Oh, that's that's your job, right? <laughs> Take care, Jill. If you're heading to the station, take that service alley out in front of the shop, okay? Okay. The problem with the shotgun there is it becomes so much bigger. Well, takes up one more slot now. Mm I think the reason why he doesn't want to leave is a good girl is uh, this is a speculation out of from my side sound yeah sounds like it's uh, his daughter has turned or something yeah this just makes uh, we didn't miss anything out there. you see these all these items they didn't show up here though We'll just make it so we have two spots free though. Um. Uh. 
I'm thinking I'm gonna slip all down half an hour. Yeah, but you said you have uh, you got it all. I think I'm gonna skip uh, bringing it up on for now. Hope I don't regret that. Yeah, but to me, that what you said, it was like if I had missed any items. Oh no, not one of these. Oh yeah, that's true. True, true, true. I forgot about that. Times readers column. Dear editor, I'm writing to you because I'm troubled, deeply troubled. Anyone who's been a parent knows that Crystal Promenade is the place to take your kids for a trip downtown on Saturdays. And there's no store more popular or harder on a parent's wallet than Toy Uncle. However, I've noticed that on windy days the big statue above the entrance wobbles like the only thing holding it up is a couple of screws. If that statue's head uh, tumbles loose on a busy day, children will be badly hurt. I have complained to the manager three times now, but he just isn't willing to rectify the situation. Are we supposed to wait for a terrible accident to happen before taking action? No? If heads are going to roll, then let it be the manager's. Take that death trap down, Timothy Wilds. 69. <laughs> Hmm, feels like I should have brought that one anyway. Oh great, now we have a rocket launcher instead. Rocket launcher? Really?
Bad timing. Now, of course, she has time to talk in that. Getting to that store now? No. I don't. I'm a cop. Tried to run, but she got like stuck there. Uh, do I have to redo all this then? Oh, okay. that was uh, different. I'm gonna have to load my save game there. Can he just uh, from uh, changing so damn quick from shooting to Dodge one and Oof. Out of here. Do, 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 do. Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start. Thanks for the save. Hey, you saved my ass first. 
You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Well, what matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah. Now you'll be safe. Don't think we need them. Uh, hmm. Get him. I wonder if you're gonna come back to this one or if I missed. I think we're gonna go somewhere else. I guess I missed something. Missed uh, those somewhere. catching the train why not oh, there'll be new orders if it means I can help save the city it's fine by me is well deserved get inside the subway is about to leave Carlos Tyrell you have your orders you need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bart this isn't the last ride out of town right do not worry once the civilians are safe the train will be back it's all right you're going ahead I'm not gonna die on you leave you in a cold cruel Carlosless world okay You'll need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? You're learning. The only life that matters is your own. Good luck. Let's go! You don't really think a pencil pusher like Barton is still alive, do you? I have it on good authority. Why? Uh, are you worried about teammates? Or something else? Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. What you think? <laughs> Gate from the city. Hmm, that didn't go so well. Oh, it's been a while. Subway's got to be clear of the city by now. How long with your hot gate? Nah, she's not like that. Hell, well, she's not like anybody. <laughs> Oh, 
All right. Hold on. Keep your hands clean, on Romeo. This is the police station. Are you sure? It looks like a cemetery to me. Well, let's see what do we have. Pistol. Assault rifle. I don't know, take a while for it to... And I took a lot of bullets. <clears throat> that was a weak ass assault rifle, I have to say. This reminds me of this layout in front that reminds me of Resident Evil 2. Uh, Lucy Yen, disposal complete. Department in chaos after, sp after spread of infection. Multiple citizens taken refugee here are infected. All files related to you successfully disposed of, awaiting further orders. Communication intercepted from uh, S. Hosp. On the star's private communications line, presumed to be evac request from B. Possible he will flee the hospital and come here. Request UBCS dispatch. I will evacuate with their assistance. Uh, requested evac has not yet arrived. This position is becoming untainable. I remain here with the condition my safety will be guaranteed. If I am left to die here, I will distribute proof of collusion and corruption between you and RC civic leaders. You have one hour to, to deliver a response. Sorry, poster boy. Oh, that, was, uh, yeah, that was him up there. Somebody didn't have time to put his blues on. job to do if our intel is still worth a damn then bards in the star's office let's find him and take him into custody custody i thought this was a Keep rescue out. carlos take a look at this i've located the star's office remember bard had access to umbrella's darkest secrets he knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs so this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain 
Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Hey! Be careful. Yeah. You too, man. You played uh, Resident Evil 2, right, Florian? Have you played a remake or... Because Resident Evil 2 remake is... Or well, Resident Evil 2 is about this place, you know. Area looks clear. go down there but if we have loot <laughs> how is that old memory of yours huh Here's a weird fucking door. Leave it. We're here for oh, yeah. There's a different keys you have to open these doors. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, this pl this place is Resident Evil 2 this place or Resident Evil 2 takes place in this area I should say save so in case we ID card security protocols each member of the force has been issued an ID card from now on this same card will be required to access all storage boxes do not lend your car to anyone. Take great care of it in using it. If your car gets missing, report it last immediately. RPD, Facility Maintenance Department. Ah, just out of reach. that thing couldn't have been a zombie You're hanging around there buddy Another one of those key doors. I didn't stick around. Ah, here we go. Whoa! 
Oh my god. Sometimes they have so much uh, health, it feels like, even when they're down. Right. Big, warm RPD welcome. Okay, I see. You used the pistol and shot him in the head. Kind of weird sometimes so it feels like an assault rifle is worse than a pistol. You copy? There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty? All right. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. You know, let's dodge backwards, but that wasn't enough. This part, mm -hmm. this is a s well, it wasn't the previous one, that was a saber. Let me try. Remember that. Hmm. Turn memo. 
Office supply internal relocation notice. Heat resistant three number combination save mood star mood from stars office two F to West Office one F. Convoy is left Left nine, okay, then right fifteen, and left. Well, if cameras kill those things, I'd be set. Dark room. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Mm some more coffee then we move on for a pack Did Caloria win? So he got so excited. Support. Ronnie Gray, unemployed, former electrician, unlawful creation and or possession of explosives. Narrative. Suspect was seen behaving suspiciously at 1442 Buck Street on September 18, 1998. Suspect's person was searched, produced a small explosive and time detonated from his inside pocket, leading to arrest on the charges listed above. Search of suspects home found more than 20 additional home and explosive with various stages of completion. Suspect was extremely agitated and not of sound mind. Suspect spoke feverishly when questioning began. At one point, questioning had to be halted due to a sudden bout of shrieking from a suspect. Once questioning was resumed, suspect made the following statements. 
I didn't do it for me, I did it for you. Why doesn't anyone understand? The corpses attack from the shadows. A storm's coming, but this umbrella is no good. Gotta blow it up or you'll be more than just wet. Gotta get more bombs. They're coming. Soon. Gotta hurry. Burn him. Burn the corpses. Burn him good. Been questioning, the suspect began to shake violently before assuming a shrieking fit. Questioning was ended and the sedative administered. This is suspect's unstable uh, psychiatric condition. Suspect's testimony changed from moment to moment. Suspect's delirium ma made any sort of dialogue impossible. We are currently awaiting the results of a doctor's investigation into suspect's condition. The explosives collected from suspect's person and residence appear to be extremely powerful. As a safety precaution, a battery was removed from one detonation device upon its admission into evidence. The battery was secured in the safety deposit room. Uh -huh. Just a uh, slot to do that. So nine. Sixteen and seven. Nice. Get pouch. Makes me think about that song, Hips Don't Lie. Shakira. So we are going to have to go up. There's no path there. Red herbs. <laughs> Carlos, the star's office is up ahead. Copy that. Dead.
Oh, I can't. Oh, uh, cap. Didn't say that on the, um, the whiteboard on there. Cap, right? I thought that was it. I can't remember what it, what it was, uh, because there was a password on that one on uh, Resident Evil 2. Shit. Go and check the whiteboard, damn it. Um, hmm. I don't know if I can. See if we can. Uh... There's nothing we can do about them, but I damn it, I thought it was the password for that horse cap up. Uh, I thought it said on the um, whiteboard. Liquor here is the same as the previous one. We just have to survive. Note to a friend if you really need some more dead, if you hear any noise coming from the rocket, do not open it, please. While you, are, while you were out on patrol, I focused on finding a way to get to the other side and realized that the explosive might be our best bet. I managed to rig up a pretty good bomb, but we don't have any batteries for the detonator. Pretty sure I sent one to the safety deposit room during intake last week. We need that battery if we're going to knock this wall down. So I headed upstairs to find you since I know you have the safety deposit room key. Yeah, we got that one. As soon as I left the shower room, I was attacked. One of them bit me. I washed the wound as best as I could, but I feel worse and worse. I hope I don't uh, need to spell out why you must not open the locker. Please don't worry about me. Just get yourself out of here as fast as you can. Your buddy Wes. Yes, don't worry about the 600, uh, I'll lend you. Think it of as a gift towards your upcoming move. Good luck, buddy. Hmm. Yeah, which means we need to go down there and get that, uh, battery. Okay. Guess we'll be doing this the explodey way. We need a battery. <sighs> Better not. Okay. This one was cut. I don't know which, uh, what the one up there is. Make another uh, full heal. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is it blocked? 
wonder why, buddy. So what the heck can the code for that one up there be then? I mean, one can brute force it, but... So there was the other one down there that was cap. This one is not cap, this one is something else. Um, then? ABC? No? <laughs> you? No, no you? <laughs> Heck. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that one is. can't remember what that one was, uh, but I saw the whiteboard, it said uh, CAP, so I thought it was the top one, but it was the bottom. shower. Yeah, you probably do. We're gonna come by here anyway, so yes, yes, put that one in there for now. Uh, examine. Oh, it's a safety deposit. Oh, yeah, it's for that room. Okay. Mm -hmm. The question is if I can open this door or if I have to use a flashbang. I can hear something like a noise. Ah, there we go. DCM. to let's see we need 104 and I want to 106 See if there are more we can open. Before we open that one, so 109. Uh, this is what we needed in Resident Evil 2. There was a, a shotgun that was in here. Or something back there at least. Uh, 109.
become the Papa. Mine now. I'd say there was nothing else, I think. Uh... Nope. Easy come, easy go. I mean, we're gonna have three slots. So when do you think you're gonna regain your 70k points, Florian? <laughs> Christmas? Or are you when you... Actually, uh, try and do a uh, Do a gamble all, you know. I don't like it that this guy could get up after I stabbed and shot him, you know. Okay, so let's see how uh, would it be in the shower room. Then we have to go all the way around and peep. Oh yeah, there was here, there was in uh, Resident Evil 2, there was a liquor in the hallway here. That's the first encounter you had with them. If I remember correctly. Carlos, I've hit a dead end with the terminal here. Gotta head your way. Copy that. Three showers. Oh, my God. Take a number. 
Oh, what the? Didn't see that? Oh my god. And yeah, the flashbang that one did. Board. Paul, thank God. Do you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. Now, negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send, send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. I like him already. <laughs> yeah, you would. You heard what he said. And we can't turn him over to the company. That's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. This will take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. Is that Jill in the front row? Report on the mansion incident. This bizarre incident occurred in a mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation located in the Orclay Mountain. On July 23, Star's Bravo team was dispatched to the Arclay Mountains to investigate a series of mysterious and grisly murders and went unexpectedly radio silent. On July 24, Alpha team was dispatched as well and became entangled in the events of the nearby mansion. The incident culminated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. The only survivors were five members of Star's cause of the incident was the illegal bioweapon experiments being carried out in a secret umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The T-virus being used in these experiments escaped the facility and is presumed to be the root cause of all that occurred. However, all evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation has proven to be extremely difficult. Mm -hmm. That whole asshole uh, tried to steal the stuff. Cell. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we missed that one. That's mostly because I tried to survive. Uh, but it's kind of weird though that there was like no. I guess the game is saved, but. I have like an auto save here, but now we had that there isn't like a typewriter in here. Oh, let's see what we got out here. Oh. Yeah, what's up? Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Jill? 
Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bart. Where is it supposed to be going somewhere else, man? Oh, didn't get to check. Oh, oh. Now it's back to jail. You're gonna shoot that traitor? Good news, limp dicks. I've got some new weaponry for you that's guaranteed to put the brass back in your sacks. They're called mine rounds. These babies were developed by Umbrella's military R&D. They would light your fires even hotter than the lower you left uh, back home. <laughs> uh, they are tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. All right, let's take a look at the specs. Mine rounds are designed for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them in anything else. Fire them at walls or the ground and they will stay right where you put them. The sensor on the mine will detect approaching enemies and detonate when they get to within range. So basically you just toss them uh, in an enemy's path and you got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as unfair when you're uh, taking on the, those giant freaks so get out there and fight dirty.
ahead. Drain off. What the? Dodging system is such a shit show, man. Clock tower for sure. Saint Michael's clock tower. Saint Michael's clock tower is a baroque style building which stands in the heart of Raccoon City. It's become a beloved icon and residents consider it to be emblematic to the city as a whole. Saint Michael's Church erected this tower in 1908 with the assistance of several uh, philanthropists. Uh, it was dedicated to the children born in a developing city, and the first floor was used as an elementary school for many years. The city saw further growth during its electrification over the course of the early 20th century. And the student body of the St. Michael's Elementary is well to over 600 students. Unfortunately, St. Michael's Elementary was shuttered in 1978 as the building began to show signs of age and wear. The clocks was uh, deactivated and strict limitations were placed on entry to the surrounding premises. Years passed with this once beloved monument and a public plaza on lockdown. During the 1990s, the Umbrella Corporation worked in league with Mayor Michael Warren to renovate and reopen the area, this time with proper preservation efforts in place. The clock tower was officially reopened in 1993, and, and today the sound of its heavy tolling bells can once again be heard throughout Raccoon City. If I shouldn't do like this, then yeah, 
probably should. Is that the... Um, hmm. What about the getting the head? Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Oh, shit. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? What the fuck? It's so hard, but sometimes you know when it's a cutscene and not a cutscene, it's like it just switches all of a sudden to either one. So it's like, okay. I'm supposed to be doing here then. Ooh. It's like it has like a weak point, but I can't. Uh...
Oh, I see. Oh my god, that's what I needed the mines for. Would be nice to have known. Oh, come on. Oh my god, and it went through the damn gate. Hit it up there.
Oh, come on. There is no rockets there. No grenades, I should say. That's just no ordinary pistol rounds. Looks like I hit it. I shouldn't even waste ammo at this point because uh, there's nothing I can do. Took a while to figure that one out. At least here you get time to, uh, you know, look around for the loot. Oh, he's not dead. He's still alive. Not that easy. Impregnated again. Interest. You've done me a big favor. Yes. Oh, this douchebag. Hope we get to kill him. Oh. 
Jill! Hey, answer me. God damn it. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I... I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. <sighs> in there, super cop. I got gotcha. you. Jill. I'm gonna get you the vaccine. I'm gonna be okay. Well, I mean, worst case, you know. Oh, well, I can't. You know, put it out. <laughs> You're not allowed to. Knife, stab her, no. Hand grenade. <laughs> Okay, let's see what are we gonna bring with us. Um, I mean, we have four slots. That's what we have, I think. Back to Carlos. 